KBS Detroit's Ray Strickland spent much of this afternoon with Michigan's Department of Transportation. Ray, I'm looking over at our preview monitor here. You look, you look pretty well off in Detroit. What are crews doing to prepare? Yeah, that's exactly right, Rochelle. It's not that bad out here as of now. Yes, it's raining and the roads are wet, as you can see, but drivers seem to be doing okay at the moment. And I do want to emphasize at the moment because things could change relatively soon here, maybe in just a matter of hours, because that's when the ice is expected to accumulate on the roads. Now, I do want to give you a look here at Woodward and Forest. That's where I, uh, that's where I was a little bit earlier. And you can see there's not much to be concerned about right now, at least in this area of Michigan town in Detroit. It's just a regular February, Wednesday in, 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 in Michigan. But in the afternoon hours, let's say uh, when you're leaving work, that's when the road could become troublesome. MDOT is watching them closely from their operations and service center in Detroit. They have about 300 cameras keeping an, a close eye on road conditions and crashes affecting the highways. That's so they can help if you uh, need it and get those affected roads plowed and treated. Now, I did speak to a rep from MDOT who says just because you don't see a lot of snow on the ground doesn't mean you shouldn't be cautious. You're not going to see major snow covered roads, but when you see snow, you know how to drive in it. It is the ice that does get people by surprise because it looks like the roads are just wet or just maybe a little bit of black ice. But when it's wet and the temps are cold. That is when you get the ice and you need to give yourself more room to dry, uh, slow down for the car in front of you if you need to stop. Again, drivers have to do their part. Both hands on the wheel, both eyes on the road, an appropriate distance between vehicles so you can stop safely if you hit an icy patch. And that was Diane Cross from MDOT. She also wanted to remind our viewers that they can check on road conditions and even crashes live at mi.gov slash drive. Again, that's mi short for michigan.gov slash drive. And that's going to be something that you can see in real time, which will allow you to prepare for that post-work commute. Live in Detroit, Ray Strickland, CBS News Detroit. All right, Ray, thank you. We've got our team out there. We've got you covered, letting you know what's going on out there. We'll check back in.